Okay, you guys, we have a little bag of earrings. Let's see what this small bag is. Bonjour tout le monde, Jennifer here with, as I said, a little bag of earrings. See, it says 10 925 earrings. This is supposed to be 10 pairs of sterling earrings. So, um, the video that I posted Saturday that was almost two hours long. Was that the one? Yeah, the one that was two hours long. Oh, uh, I think it was an hour and 50 minutes. Um... That lot I paired this with so that some some of the Shop Goodwill locations will let you bundle um, purchases up to 20 pounds. You have to open up the shipping to find out how much the shipping is and read the fine print. And this location does. So um, I found this little lot of sterling, supposed to be sterling, earrings and I thought okay this is good and it was at a good price. I won the entire lot for $35. I you know so I was thinking okay $3.50. I probably would have paid $3.50 in the thrift store for sterling earrings. So let's lay them out and we will look and see what all we have. Those are teeny. Um and then after this, after we look at this cute little lot of earrings, let's go ahead and draw a winner for my fun box. And we will see who wins the fun box from Jen for me reaching my 1,000th subscriber, which I think I'm at 1,200 now. So I'm a little late. But that's okay. <laughs> Better late than never, right? Does it work like that? Okay. We've got some of my favorite types here. I love anything with abalone. All right. So take a look. We've got some really pretty earrings here. And we will just get started. So it's um, supposed to be like 40 grams of earrings. These are pretty. So they're like little studs with um, a CZ inside. And it's, it's an interesting, almost like a bezel set. Um, do I see any? It says Mexico 925. Let me see if I can pull you in on that. Hold on. There we go. So here's the Mexico 925. Very pretty. Um, I, I hadn't even thought of pricing these. So like while I go, I've done that for a couple of videos now. I enjoy doing that. Um, but I haven't really thought of it about like with these. So if I will just say this and what I'm doing right now, I've got my silver cloth. I am just, um, kind of cleaning these, rubbing these down just a little bit so they don't look so beat up. If you see something that you're like, oh, I just have to have that, email me. I'll put the email right here at the bottom at frenchteacherinva at yahoo.com. Email me and tell me, you know, which pair. You're like, oh, gosh, I have to have that pair. And uh, we'll figure something out. As always, when I price to viewers, subscribers, I try to price about half of what I would list it for because technically, or in my mind, I am not having to take the time to list, you know, stop, photograph, list, and all of that. You know, that it takes away all of that. All right, there they are. They're pretty. They're very pretty. They shined up nice. Um, so yeah. Okay, first pair, down. These are cute. Uh, these are my style. They're kind of industrial dangly um do they have anything written on the back okay i see something 
do I see JRI 925 Mexico? I think I see Mexico on there. So yeah, JRI 925 Mexico. Nice. And yeah, they're just like very industrial looking circles all hooked together. Let's see. I don't know. Um, what do y'all think? I got my testing acid. I thought, I wonder if I should test these to see if Goodwill tried to pull a fast one on me. I mean, not that I could do anything about it. They, there's probably, there was probably a disclaimer in there somewhere, <laughs> you know, but, um, we could test them and see. So they're shining up somewhat. Uh, I probably shouldn't just sit here and spend all this time shining earrings. This isn't what y'all want to see. <laughs> this isn't what you came to see. Okay. But yes, they're looking prettier. They're looking prettier. Okay, let's grab these. These are pretty. They're very thin. Um, okay. And you see how they've got the etching in them. I I don't know. This one looks kind of gold, more gold, and this one looks more silver. What have we got marked on them? It says 925 Mex. 925 Mex. Oops. They are pretty hoops. Um, I do like that kind of floral etching in it. I think that's gorgeous. Um, but I do want to know what they look like all kind of wiped down. I realize I'm shaking everything with this. All right, they're looking better. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure why this one looks, to me, like it's a little bit of a different color, but maybe not. Just might need some more cleaning. So, there's those. These are cool. These kind of look Victorian, Gothic to me. Um, isn't that pretty? Aren't those pretty? So, you've got kind of a little... Almost like a little chandelier dangle. I'm um, looking for any kind of writing. I think I just see 925 on it. Back here. Yeah, I think that's all I see on this is 925. Definitely, again, needs a good cleaning. Um, oh, easily bendable. <laughs> so, got to kind of be a little bit easy with them. But, yeah, they're pretty. I like those a lot. And you see, it, it will shine up. We just got to work on them a little bit. Okay, let's look at these. These are very brighteny. Don't these give you brighten vibes? Um, all right, let's look on the back. Oh, Okay, I think they say Bars. I do like Bars jewelry, Bars 925. Hooray, that's a good one. Okay. They feel good. Um, Good basic. Matches everything. Silver matches everything, doesn't it? Okay, very nice. So it's a pair of Bars earrings. Okay, little teeny tiny studs, but um, I don't know what this stone is in the middle, but um, whether it's cubic zirconia or not, I don't even see where it's like marked 925. So those we might definitely have to test. Let's see if any part of it is... It's a little bent, kind of like me. 
a little bent. All right. Um, we'll definitely have to test those because I don't see any kind of marking on them. Okay. Next. I love these. I love these because <laughs> they this part gives me that industrial vibe that I like. But down here with the pearl and the quartz, it gives me the feminine uh, side. So I like that type of versatility in a piece of jewelry. So those are pretty. I don't know. Let's see if there's anything on the back. Hey, kiddos, I think we have Sopata. So do you see the arrows right there? And it looks like two arrows going up into each other. That is the Sopata mark. So we have a pair of Sopata. I love selling Sopata. Okay, that makes me happy. Very pretty earrings. And this is more than likely a real pearl. Looking at the luster, I'd say yes. Feeling it rub against each other, definitely. And then I believe this is probably quartz. It could be rock crystal. Um, I don't have a way to test it, but it's very pretty. Okay. Yay for Sopata! Let's look at these. These are little screw backs. Um, looking to see if there's any type of marking. Oh, I see a marking way down here underneath the um, ear wire. Let me see if I can get any any of this patina rubbed off so that we can read it. Ugh. Hmm. All right, what do we see, y'all? Nothing yet. Hmm. I don't see anything yet. They're very pretty but I am having a hard time reading it. You can almost see through what's in the middle, almost like um, plique a jour, because it's kind of thin. So I don't know if this was intended to be plique a jour because this looks like abalone shell, but it's, it's a thin layer. Do you see how the light is just coming through it? That's so cool. These are very cool screw backs. I like these. All right. Um, they're so pretty. I just want to be able to read it down here. All right, maybe this one's a little more legible. And maybe not. Okay, I'm just struggling today, y'all. Um, hmm. Let me see. Loop, are you in here, Loop? I am not seeing it right off. It's usually right here. All right, well, darn it, y'all. Oh, I wonder if it's in the next drawer down. Let's see. Negative, that would be a no. Okay. Um, Since I don't have my loop right here, I will figure something out and let you guys know on screen what I find out about these beauties. They are gorgeous. Okay, let's do these little door knockers. So I've got some door knockers here. Um, I see, I think I see a 925 written down there and etched in down there, stamped. What else do I see? I don't know. That's another thing with uh, getting getting jewelry in lots like this. You have to be okay with cleaning and shining things up some. Because for some reason, it just shows up dirty as can be. Okay. They shine up pretty. All right, what does it say now? I see a 925. 
but I'm not sure what else I see on there. Sorry. K, do, do I see a KI? KI925? Maybe that's what I'm seeing. All right, but we'll, um, we'll set those to the side. Sorry, I'm go taking y'all for a ride. Yeah, I feel like I see KI925. And our last pair, thin um, abalone shell. Oh, and hair, maybe? Um, a little pink AB bead, faceted bead, and a little green bead, but you've got the abalone shell, so pretty. And I'm assuming that the ear wire is what is 925. Um, they are, they are pretty little earrings. And what we'll do is we'll test each one. Um, and make sure, like I said, make sure that Goodwill didn't send me some duds. And then we'll do our drawing. How does that sound? Okay, so let's just take one of each earring. And I'll lay them out in a row. Um... And let's see, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna do the ear wire or ear post also, and I'll do it right under it. Okay. And you can go there. Okay, let's check the bars. And we'll check the ear wire for the bars. Okay, so Bars was next. All right, we'll check this guy. I don't know if you need to check the um, the screw back part, but we'll check it anyway. All right, you were next. All right, let's put Bars up there. Let's put you up there. We'll check these little tiny guys. I went kind of opposite. I'm doing the post. And then we'll try uh, one of the settings if I can. It's not exactly where I wanted it. But that's okay. It kind of got the job done. Um, was that five? I'm thinking five on the top and five on the bottom. Okay. So, post. Oh. They bend so easily. Okay. Okay, and then we'll, these were the Sopatas. All right, there's that. All right, Sopata, up there you go. All right, the little circle-y earring guys. Post, earring. There you go. Um, the first ones I showed you guys. We've got post. And let's do earring. Okay. And we go up there. Um, and then we've got those, these, um, I guess, gothic Victorian looking ones. Ear wire. Your ring, and you go up there, and then we get the hoops. All right, all of our scratches made. Let me do that, and then that goes up there. We got we're using um, 18k, 
18K. We're looking for blue. Looking for blue. Oops. I just, I wonder, I'm trying to get that bubble out. Hey, we got blue all the way across, you guys. All the way across on the top, so. Goodwill did all right. Now let's go to the bottom. And there's your blue across the bottom. So um, on the on the uh, auction, it said 47 grams. So I guess if I put all this on a scale, it'll, it should weigh 47 grams. But there's our our glowing blue. So that's that's my lot. Let me know what you think. And like I said, if you see something that you absolutely cannot live without, that you need, email me, and um, we will we will figure out a price and get you what you need. Um, okay, let's see who the winner is for the fun box. I feel crooked, but we're, we're going with it. Okay, are we ready for the giveaway? Um, let's um, insert a um, screen recording of me choosing the winner for our giveaway. Okay, you guys, here we are with the YouTube random comment picker. I am going to put in the link to the video where I announced how to enter, and it was to put in a song with the word thunder in the title. And then we're going to hit fetch, and we are going to take off re replies and open up anything goes and choose keyword filter. And with keyword filter, we're gonna type in the word thunder. So here we go, typing in thunder, and then we're gonna hit continue. And it looks like I got 29 comments, and I'm gonna hit pick a winner. And there we go, it is Sheila's Treasures. Um, and she picked Thunder Road, one of my all time favorite songs. So. Sheila, I need you to email me at FrenchTeacherInVA at Yahoo.com. Give me your address so that I can get this random fun box sent to you full of random things. All right, so make sure you send me your email. I, um, I love doing this. This is great. It's been a lot of fun. So thank you all for entering every... Okay, there we go. Congratulations. And like I said, in um, probably the voiceover, this is my first time I ever doing a giveaway like this. Um, just email, it's Sheila's Treasures, I think. Um, email me at French Teacher NVA, right down here at the bottom, French Teacher NVA at yahoo.com. Give me your address and I will get this fun box to you. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm so excited. So hopefully you enjoyed this. I definitely did. And um, I would like to plan another giveaway. I've got some ideas in my head. That's kind of fun. So um, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching the jewelry haul and stay staying tuned for um, the drawing. And until, oh, I meant to also say, hmm, I need to do this. This video is not sponsored by YouTube. It is not sponsored by ThreadUp. It's not sponsored by anybody but dear old me. So um, I'm the one that, that decided what to do, and I'm the one that put it all together. So um, just so we have that clear. So, yeah, make sure you email me. And um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I would love it if you subscribe. Um, I put out two videos a week, usually one every Wednesday, one every Saturday. I do unboxings. I do what solds. I do thrift hauls. I do clothes, jewelry, shoes, plush, you name it, bins, hauls, um, crazy stuff. I'm just into all of it. So 
If reselling content interests you, I would love it if you subscribe to the channel. And until the next video, I'm going to say a tout à l'heure. See you later.